Hello dear friends, this is your Dr. Shogatali, the topic under discussion. Now is your Thimsa Thrift, Thiru Rook. Thiru Rook, an aromatic heterocyclic compound. Thiru Rook, otherwise one more name we have for this Thiru Rook, that is your Azol. Another name of Thiru Rook is Azol. It's a its molecular formula is C4, H5, and N. The structure of the role is this. This is an aromatic compound. How to confirm the aromatic compound? Whether the compound is aromatic or aliphatic, there are two important criteria we have. One is by following the Hercules rule, that is foreign plus two rule. Apply this particular pyrrole into this particular Huckel's root and find out the result, what the result is. If you apply the Huckel's rule into this, the result what we get is 6. 6 is the result that we, we get in the case of benzene also. Therefore, similar to benzene, because it displays 6 final pi electrons in Huckel's root, this shows ultimately the aromatic property of this pyrrole. Six pi electrons are there in the pyrrole also. This delocalization of pi electrons starts by taking the lone pair of electron on the nitrogen what we have in the pyrrole into the delocalization. The delocalization starts by taking inside the, the ring by this pyrrole, the pi electron delocalization, delocalization starts from here like this. Therefore, this delocalization leads to number of resonance structures for pyrrole. There are five different resonance structures possible as far as the pyrrole is concerned. All these five different resonance structures are written here. Because it has number of resonance, nearly five structures are possible. It is highly stable compared to your benzene. With respect to stability, pyrrole is stable. Therefore, the aromatic electrophilic properties of pyrrole is concerned. We need to, uh, that is, carry out, uh, no need for uh, the drastic condition to carry out these electrophilic substitution reactions. Just a moderate condition is enough to carry out electrophilic substitution reactions are concerned. See the resonance structures, the basic structure of pyrrole, and the name of pyrrole, the molecular formula of your pillow. So the first method to confirm the aromatic nature of pyrrole is introducing, applying this pyrrole into your Huckel's rule. The calculation reveals six number of pi electrons finally that is exactly equal to benzene. Therefore, this is an aromatic. Another method is as usual in the, the laboratory method. Take the pyrrole in a spatula using a spatula a little introduce this pyrrole into a Bunsen flame, it will catch fire and it will burn with a lot of smoke, that is a sooty flame. This confirms again the aromaticity as far as the laboratory technique is concerned. Now we are going to discuss regarding the preparation of this pyrrole. See the black hole, I am going to delete the thing. Now we are going to discuss how to prepare this pyrrole. Preparation of pyrrole. Preparation of pyrrole. In the laboratory, the pyrrole is prepared starting from your furon. Furon, when treated with ammonia in presence of your furon, treated with ammonia in presence of aluminium, in presence of alumina, Al2O3, at 400 degrees Celsius, you will get pyrrole.
plus Q and H2. Simple method. Industrially, pyrrole is prepared by passing a mixture of fuel and ammonia over alumina as catalyst at 400 degrees Celsius. Pyrrole can be prepared industrially. Furon treated with ammonia over alumina catalyst maintained around 400 degrees Celsius. The ready-made product is by pyrrole. I repeat, furon treated with ammonia. You are passing the two mixture over alumina that is maintained, which is maintained around 400 degrees Celsius at different high temperature. The product is pyrrole. This is your furon. No need to write this. This is your ammonia. This is your alumina. And this is your product, pyrrole. Pyrrole making is very simple as far as the industrial method is concerned. See the board. Very clear. Yes. Next method. We have one more method of making your few pyrrole in the rubber. This. Treat 2 butyl 1 4 diol OH OH 2 butyl One comma four dry all. This is the starting material we take. Treat this with ammonia. Temperature is heat this under pressure. You will get here. Pyrrole as a product plus two molecules of water. Pyrrole can also be prepared by treating two butyl and one for dia. Position wise, numbering starts from here two, three, four. Therefore, at position one, there, there is one all, there is one hydroxyl. At position 4, there is one more hydroxyl group. Therefore, we have 2R, diol. Since we have 2 OH, hydroxyl as well as, well as the IUPAC, IUPAC nomenclature is concerned, its name should end with OL, alcoholic functional group. Therefore, OR is written here, OL is written. Before this, the prefix what we have used here is a di, di stands for 2. Since we have 2 OH, di R, and position wise, position 1 we have all, position 4 we have another alcohol, and in position 2, there is a butyne, similar to alkyne, this is an alkyne, therefore the name ends with Y, y N, D, butyne, 2 butyne, position is 2, therefore 2 butyne, Position is 1 comma 4, diol we have 2, and this 2 butyne 1 comma 4 diol is treated with ammonia under pressure. You will get it can be easily prepared. Pyrrole is the final product in this. See the board, try to understand the concept. Yes, I'm moving next. Regarding properties, we have two different properties. One is physical, another one is chemical. Regarding properties, physical properties, second and less liquid. Boiling point is around 131 degrees Celsius. It turns brown in air and it gradually resinifies. Another unique property of this period. 
It is as usual similarly slightly soluble in water and highly soluble in most of the organic solvents like ethanol, alcohol, etc. The one property, unique property of pyrrole is it starts changing its color into brown when you exposed to air. And when you allow the thing to expose continuously into the air, after turning into brown, it starts resinifies. Formation of resin like, uh, you know, the, it will reach the resin like uh, state. That is called the resinific resinifies. Resinifying the final product. Resin, resin like product is the final one when you allow, when you, when you expose the pyrrole continuously into the air. This starts by changing color into brown and after that resinifies. Regarding chemical properties, as I told you, pyrrole is highly little bit reactive, highly reactive when compared to benzene. The electrophilic substitution usually takes place at position number 2, similar to your furon, similar to your the previous one, what we have discussed. Uh, that is a furon, and I think uh, thiophene. Here also they expected the attack, the position of attack here is position number 2. Attack at position 3 is possible but it gives you unstable product when compared to position 2. This can be explained very easily. You please consider the following thing to understand why the attack at position 3 is not possible, why at 2 is possible as far as the pyrrole is concerned. Okay. At position 3, take pyrrole. This is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. If you introduce anything, E plus electrophile, let us assume attack has taken place. Now we have E and H. What else? Yes, that's it. Now, this is the thing we get, and when you reach the final thing, it will come here, and it will come here, and where to go for you know that resonance, you know, go for the another thing that is called a very well, a 6 pi electron. This is not possible, it leads to unstable product. Therefore, position 2 is not, position 3 is not at all possible as far as the pyrrole is concerned. This leads to only two resonance structures, whereas at position number three leads to three different resonance structures. The general uh, theory says that as far as the number of resonance structures is concerned, the more the resonance, more the stability with respect to that particular compound is concerned. Less resonance structures, less stability. Therefore, based on that principle, we have only position 2 is possible, not position 3. Position 2, no need to explain, it leads to three different resonance structures. Now we are directly entering into the electrophilic reactions of electrophilic substitution reactions of pyrrole. Pyrrole undergoes halogenation. I will write in between the pyrrole. So that the explanation will be very easy. Pyrrole, when treated with your bromine in halogenation reaction, you will get bromine, bromo, bromo, and bromo. The product here is 2, 3, 4, 5 tetra bromo pyrrole. 2, 3, 4, 5, tetra, bromo, pyrrole. Pyrrole gives you tetra, bromo, pyrrole. Position wise, at position 2 there is bromine, 3 bromine, 4 bromine, 5 bromine. Therefore, the product, final product is 2, 3, 4, 5, tetra, bromo, 
paper. In this, this particular reaction is your halogenation. Now come to the next reaction, that is your nitration. Treat the pyrrole with the nitric acid. It will end up with your or acetyl nitrate, it will end up with your 2 nitro pyrrole. 2 nitro pyrrole, this reaction is your nitration reaction. Use pyrrole and acetyl nitrate, the temperature is 5 degrees Celsius around. It will end up with your 2 nitro pyrrole in a reaction called nitration of pyrrole. Next one is even sulfonation. For this, use sulfur trioxide and the medium is pyridine. Heat this, you will get 2 pyrrole sulfonic acid. 2 pyrrole SO3 H. This is where 2 pyrrole sulfonic acid. This reaction is as usual well known reaction. This is sulfonation of pyrrole. Sulfonation of pyrrole. And apart from this, we have few more reactions that we will, body is not sufficient. I will discuss later. Anyway, before deleting this, I'd like to explain again the things written here. Pyrrole in a reaction called halogenation gives you tetra bromo pyrrole this is possible when you treat pyrrole with the bromine this is halogen bromine treated with the pyrrole gives you tetra bromo pyrrole the reaction is halogenation and in nitration temperature is just 5 degrees celsius treat pyrrole with the acetyl acetyl nitrate you will get 2 nitro pyrrole in a reaction called the nitration of pyrrole. Then the pyrrole when treated with sulfur trioxide in pyridine, in a reaction called the sulfonation, you will get as usual 2 pyrrole sulfonic acid. 2 pyrrole sulfonic acid. The reactions written are number 1 halogenation, number 2 nitration, number 3 sulfonation. See the book, try to understand the concept. So that I move to the next one. Enough time is given. Yes, I am moving to the next one. Next reaction of pyrrole is the Friedel Crafts acylation. Friedel Crafts. Acylation. You are introducing acyl group into pyrrole. For this, you take pyrrole, treat this pyrrole with your HOEC, that is acetic anhydride, CH3CO twice O. This is the acetic anhydride, or this can also be written like this. This acetic anhydride. The pyrrole on treating gives you two acetyl pyrrole CO CH3. This is the two acetyl pyrrole in a reaction called Friedel Crafts acylation reaction. See the book? The reaction is Friedel Crafts acylation. Pyrrole, when treated with acetic anhydride, gives you two acetyl pyrrole. Two acetyl pyrrole. And at last, there is one more reaction called diazotization. The Friedel Crafts acylation and diazotization you can't expect as far as the benzene is concerned. 
the next reaction, the final reaction of chlorase and diazotization. Diazotization. Take the role. Treat this pyrrole with your C6 H5 N2 plus Cl minus. This is your benzene diazonium chloride. In presence of HCl at low temperature, presence of HCl, temperature is low, you will get this. N double bond in C6H4 plus your HCl. This is 2 phenyl azo pyrrole. This product is your diazotized product. The reaction is a diazotization. Pyrrole when treated with benzene or diazonium chloride. Benzene diaz diazonium chloride. In presence of HCl at low temperature gives you the substituted product namely 2 phenyl azopyro plus hydrochloric acid. This reaction is a diazotization. See the book, try to understand the concept, please. Now I am moving to the last reactions of the rules. As I told you earlier, the diazotization and the reaction, what we are going to discuss now, called a rematerial reaction. These two reactions you can't expect as far as the benzene is concerned. These are the two reactions normally the pyrrole exhibits. Now the reaction is Rematerial reaction. Rematerial reaction. Fairness name reaction. Please be careful when you are coming across the name reactions. Rematerial reaction. Take the role. Treat this role with your chloroform CHCl3 and the medium is your potassium hydroxide you will end up with 2 formyl pyrrole NHC double bond OH this is the 2 formyl pyrrole Fifth reaction in our life science, namely Raymond Tiemann reaction. In Raymond Tiemann reaction, pyrrole is treated with the chloroform. Formula of chloroform is CHCl3. In presence of potassium hydroxide, gives you two formyl pyrrole. At the end, this is your chloroform. And this is this you know that pyrrole and this is your potassium hydroxide. And before I conclude regarding the application of pyrrole, it's commercially used as solvent, and this particular thing is used in industries, that is in pharmaceutical industry in particular. With this, I'm concluding the discussion on pyrrole. Pyrrole, what is pyrrole? It's the structure of pyrrole, the basic idea behind pyrrole, physical properties of pyrrole, 
chemical properties of the role and applications of the role. Everything we have discussed in this particular class. See the blackboard. See this whiteboard, please. Try to understand the thing. If there is any clarity, if you want, let me know what type of doubt you have via my mail ID or via the Google class or via the YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you then. See you in the next class. Till then, stay safe, stay home. Thank you.